Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's Beer 30. Let's go take a walk, see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Hopefully this is going to be a nice treat, especially after yesterday's beer review for the 10,000 subscriber uh, spectacular review. Uh, this is uh, Cigar City's collaboration with Ale Smith Brewery. This is their Double Dubel, however you want to pronounce that, Double Dare, a Double or Dubel Coast collaboration. And like I said, this is done with Ale Smith Brewery and Cigar City. It's got Cigar City's cap on it, so it was done down in uh, in Tampa, where Cigar City is at. And this is the big bottle, the 750 milliliter. This is a... Well, it doesn't have the ABV listed there. And I don't think it has it on here either. A tropical interpretation of Belgian style double or, or dubel. Double Dare is a collaboration created by L. Smith Brewing Company and Cigar City Brewing, keeping their local environments in mind. This Dubel was crafted implementing coconut palm sugar instead of candy sugar. Coconut palm sugar adds caramel notes to the already complex malt flavor and has a lower glycemic index than other simple sugars. And it does not have it here. So we'll come back to that and see if it has it. Uh, Rate Beer does not have an AB, ABV listed for this beer. Uh, let's go over it. We'll do the food pairings. The food pairings for this beer. The cheeses of Buttery, Brie, Gouda, Havarti, Swiss, your more pungent cheeses, Gorgonzola, and uh, Limburger. This is a stronger beer or a stronger tasting beer. The uh, meat for this is beef. And since it's a double, it has some chocolate notes in there, hopefully. And it goes well with your chocolate dishes. And the glassware is the goblet or the chalice. I've got the goblet, again, uh, that I uh, pulled out of the case back here. And I'm going to be doing more of the uh, the beers that we, that ask for this type of glass. I'm going to be using this glass. So instead of pouring it into the Duval glass, I'm going to use the, the, the chalice here, guys. And this beer says can be sold for uh, extended period. So that, that leads me to believe it's a bigger beer. So let's go over and see if, uh, if Beer Advocate has an ABV listed here. And it, they say it's an 8.5. Since it does not have it on the label here, I'm going to have to go with that. Uh, commercial description on this beer, there, there is none. So basically what I read off the back of the bottle is all we have to go by. So we've gone the food pairings and stuff, so let's get the cap off of this one. And while I'm doing this, I want to say thanks again for all the guys that uh, subscribe to me with over 10,000 subscribers now. <laughs> Blows me away, guys, that uh, I've come this far in this short of time. So. Evidently, y'all like to see this old man drink beer and, and review beers, and I appreciate that. All right, into the glass it went. Did not pour a very big head, even though we poured it down the center. Over into the light. I can see the light perfectly through it. It is a rich amber color. A lot of bubbles streaming up, which tells me it's fairly carbonated. Not over carbonated, did not spew out or, or pour a monster head. Very rich amber color. Looks very good in the, would you call this a chalice or a goblet? I would, it looks more like a chalice to me than a goblet, but I may be mistaken there. Either one is correct. Let's get a nose on it. Oh yeah, smells very good. You definitely get the Belgian yeast in this. Some dark fruit in there. Not getting the chocolate on the nose. Very sweet smelling from, uh, 
the coconut sugar. There are some fruitiness to this beer. Uh, I don't know if I would say tropical. Um, and I would not say uh, it's into the darker fruits. This has a fruity smell to it. Now once I taste it, it may lean one way or the other, but in the nose, it just has a, has a sweet Belgian smell to it. A little breadiness there. Well, and the head that did pour is gone, so it is dissipated. I mean, it's not even covering the top of the beer. Let's give it a taste. Cheers, everybody. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Got a very sweet, not bitter, not overly sweet. I'm not giving much alcohol at all. For an eight and a half percent beer, very well made. I purchased this from Lucan's Liquors out of Florida. And they shipped this up to me. Wow. Very nice. Very delicious. Most of the beers that Cigar City does, I like. They do go out of the box like some of the others do, Dogfish and Stone. And well, Stone, I don't think I've had a bad beer from Stone, but Dogfish and some of the others do some out of the box stuff as well as Cigar City uh, and the cucumber beer that they did at Cigar City. One comes to mind that I did not care for, but most of the stuff they do is very tasty. Very, very tasty. It's uh, hard to go wrong purchasing something from Cigar City. Wow. Very nice, very balanced beer in my opinion. Very easy drinking for a beer with alcohol of 8.5%. Wow, very tasty guys. It's right out of the fridge at 40 degrees. We're going to let it warm up a little bit. And Ale Smith, uh, I cannot get their beers here, but I have had several sent to me. And the Speedway Stout was awesome. I don't think Ale Smith does a bad beer. I may be mistaken because I can't get a whole lot of their beers here. But a nice collab between those two great breweries. So uh, very tasty. So let's, have, let's warm up just a little bit and we'll sip on it. This is a sipper and not a gulper. Uh, and it's a big bottle too, so we're going to pour a, a glass for the other half and see what she thinks of it. And we'll come back and do the final chug on this one after it warms up and uh, see where it ends up. But very well made beer. Uh, I'm not sure it's quite to the A category, but we'll see after it warms up. So stick around, let's see where this one ends up. Alright guys, I'm back. Got just a little bit left here in this one. Yeah, got some nice dark fruit. The Belgian yeast. The alcohol is very well hidden in this one. 8.5 percent. That's what I have here. It's not written on the bottle, but very tasty. Been sipping on it probably about 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes. Very nice. The other half loved it just as much as I did. Very well made beer. Final chug. A very nice sweet taste to this. Not overly sweet, but very pleasant. Very easy drinking for a beer with this ABVP. 8.5% The alcohol is... There's a little bit there, but it's not prominent in the beer. I like this one. This It's a very tasty beer. A very nice collaboration between Ale Smith Brewery and Cigar City. Uh, Another winner as far as I'm concerned, guys. I would give this a 9 out of 10 uh, on the rating tonight. I want to thank Cigar City has been dating their beers with some kind of etching on here. And this one does have an etching on it. It says bottled on 10, 17, 13. So for an 8.5% that was done in October, and we're just into January here, very nice. And this beer will sell her very well. 
uh, I don't even know why you would want to sour this beer. It is very tasty now. The alcohol is not overly, it's not overly boozy. Uh, very pleasant, very easy drinking. A nice Dubel, as far as I'm concerned. You got the Belgian yeast going on there, which, which adds a little bit to, to this beer. So, uh, I enjoyed this one. It's very nice. Uh, got the, it's not a heavy dark fruit taste. Uh, it's almost a combination in between uh, the darker fruit and a lighter fruit t to me. Uh, I'm getting a, a little bit of pears and apples, but I'm getting a little bit of the uh, dates and raisins and stuff in this one. So, uh, very pleasant. Uh, and a very nice change up uh, on the Dubell style as far as I'm concerned. Just my opinion. It's not heavy in the dark fruit style as far as I'm concerned. So, I enjoyed this one, like I said. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Let's see what everybody else thinks about this one. We'll go over to Beer Advocate first. <laughs> if I can get my little tablet here to work. Beer Advocate's been running pretty slow here lately. I mean, they've uh, acknowledged they're having some problems. Evidently, their server can't handle what the, what demand that their, their people or the people that are logging into that beer site can, uh, can do. So... And it's still trying to do his thing here. It's just it's a little bit on the frustrating side when I'm trying to do a beer review and the site won't come up. So we'll go over to Rate Beer. And Rate Beer says 88 in the style, which I think is a little low as far as numbered, but 94 in the style. And I'm, I'm about with that. Uh, I'll give it, if I was going to give it a number rating, I would probably give it between a 95 and a 98 in the style. 9 out of 10 as far as I'm concerned. So let's go over and see if Beer Advocate can come up. Doesn't look too promising right here, guys. Ah, finally. Beer Advocate, uh, Beer Advocate says 84 in the style, which is in the good range. I think those numbers are a little low. Uh, I give more credit to the guys at Ale Smith and Cigar City on this particular collaboration beer. Uh, I think those numbers are low. I don't agree with that. I think it's a very good representation of the style. Very easy drinking, very well made beer. Wish I had a little bit more to drink. That's why it's that good, guys. So, with that being said, uh, let me let, let me know what you think about this beer. If you've had this beer. You missed some comments back on this one, whether you liked it, didn't like it. I did like it. Uh, don't think it's quite to the 10 scale. And I'm, I probably may be a little generous and giving it a 9. It may be an 8 in the scale. But it's got the bottle on date on it. And uh, two great breweries putting this one together for it. So, uh, easy drinking too for an 8.5% beer. So, uh, let me know what you think of it, guys. Hit that like button, rate, comment, subscribe. 10,000 subscribers. Blows me away, guys. I appreciate it. I really do. Uh, everybody that sends me beers to review that I can't get in my area, my hat's all. I had a hat. And uh, we'll see what tomorrow's uh, beer brings. So join me then. We're going to take a walk into the kitchen and see what's in the fridge. Hope you can join me then. See you.